So when I was a massage therapist, I had a client, Michelle, who was watching YouTube videos on vans obsessively, she said. And I said, I've never heard of that. And she said, well, I can't stop watching them. <laughs> so about a month later, there was nothing on TV and I was, oh, those van things. I'll just start looking at those. And I went, I could do that. And I had not thought about retiring up until that point, even though I was long past the time I could have retired. And I loved my work. I, I did it like for 38 years. But if I run into people who are in pain, I'm doing massages. And then I just suddenly got into my head, I'm going to do that and retire. And that was it. And I'm one of those people that once I decide to do something, it usually is going to happen. So Ray at Ray Outfit did all of the solar and all of the um, 110 installation and all kinds of little things that he did for me. So all of that hard stuff. I didn't want to touch because the van could blow up. And the cabinets were made by Mitch, Mitch the carpenter. He made those, but he was nice. He let me be along for the ride. And I, as he cut a piece, I would prime it and then he would put it together and then I would paint it. And, and so everything else I had my hand in. My friend Robert helped me. My daughter helped me put the walls up, but I was always a part of most of those things. I'm not sure I could build a van by myself, but I could tell someone else how to do it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Virginia, and this is Axel. It's a 2016 Ford Transit. Denise Goddard is my girlfriend. She did this piece of art. There's me, and there's my van. So this is my future. Before I left, this is her rendition of my future. And that becomes my table. So when I'm outside cooking, underneath here, I have my Coleman stove for outside cooking. And then I can cook here. And inside here, I have, these go both ways, both inside and outside, so I can cook from both sides without moving everything around. So I'm a massage therapist for 38 years, and this is my massage table here. So when I'm in Canada, I can do massages. And down this side is all of my electrical stuff. The solar is 400 watts on the roof. And then I have a, a, a Victron 2000 and I have two Battleborn batteries, 100s, which I'm going to buy another one because I just think in Canada it won't be enough. That's my refrigerator and that pulls, it's on a, on a thing, so it pulls into the cabin. So I have enough th space and when I have the time to redesign it, I'll have things pull out and that, but I just wanted to get in the road. You can't do everything before you go. So this is called wood quilting. Wood quilting is what this is. And this is lath from lath and plaster in old, old houses. So I just went online and asked in my neighborhood if anyone was pulling down any walls. And um, one of the guys that lives near me said, come and get it. It's in the backyard. It's uh, saved me a trip to the dump. So I just sanded it all and then designed the door. This is like a copper paper. And then I did the other door. And it, the second door is always harder because you have to, this one you're just working on and that one is smaller. So you have to sort of change it. But pretty well anyone could do it if they have a bit of creativity. Those are uh, KO2s, which are too big for my van. And I had to find somebody to put them on anyway. They're lovely though, they drive so beautifully. This is my gray water. That's my hose. This, this is my bucket, and I have 15 gallons of water. It goes back this way, and I can fill here, so I don't have to like climb into the back like a lot of people do. It takes a lot of space, but you have to make your choices. My layout is because I have two doors, so that was the deciding factor about everything. Yeah, I spent a year designing and building it. And I had lots of help, so I wasn't doing it alone, but I, it, all of it comes from my heart. Everything that's in here comes from my heart. I did this ceiling myself. It took 
it was, it was a horrible job, but look how beautiful it is. <laughs> so when I was in Portugal, that's how this got started. This is a copper bowl from Portugal. And I had looked before I left, and they were really expensive in North America, but they're like a dime a dozen over there. So I bought one and made it my carry-on <laughs> to come home. So that, having found that, I just added all the little bits of copper. Most of the other stuff in here is from home, because <laughs> I already loved copper. So I did this because the walls weren't meeting properly, because of the bend. And so I, I was, I didn't know what to do, so I just stuck the copper paper behind here, and then it looks like I meant to do it. <laughs> so this is a blackboard, and these are all my friends from Toronto before I left, they all signed, so I kind of like that. Funny story, my mother would have hated this, my father would have loved this, and my mom was the last to go many years before my dad, so when I got a bunch of money from my mom and I decided to do this, I was thinking, oh, she wouldn't like this, should I spend the money on this? You know, you just think, and my daughter who, you know, young people can sort of make anything work for them. She said, oh, grandma would hate it, but grandpa would have loved it. And it was his money too. So she what? said, just spend his half on it. <laughs> so I picked this blue and this is cabinet paint and I spent hours and sanding and making a nice finish. So I love this blue. This is my pantry and this was designed, we saw the other side. So these are the same drawers and they come out there's my Canadian maple syrup. <laughs> and so all of these things are available from both sides. And that makes cooking inside or outside easy. You don't have to like forget something and run around the van to get it. So that works out really nicely. And then this top drawer is mostly, I have a, an induction for cooking inside. And then this is just all my dishes and things and then my makeup. Somehow that ended up in there. And I also have an Instapot, which I keep down here, which is really messy, but there's my Instapot and my dirty laundry. <laughs> and then my makeup and my creams and everything are here and my, all those things, my pills, my, and this is my lovely cutting board that I just got done and more junk that this is like the catch-all place where I don't know where it goes it goes in here and then these come off and on both sides and then this comes off and there's all this storage down here too on both sides so what I do is on th this side I keep like things for the van and all the books that tell me what everything is and and this side's clothing that I'm not using at the moment and this is my current clothing so I just pull this up and that's like whatever I'm currently wearing goes in here and then if I'm somewhere cold I switch it all around this is one of my proudest moments. I had a plumber friend across from me when I was building and he gave me this. It was a scrap piece of copper from a job. And look, everything lines up as if I had it made especially. And it pulls out. And then this is my table. And this was my daughter's um, when she was in school. This was her homework table. So I re-sanded it and put it in here. It's just a piece of it. It was a bigger table, but it w works nice for a nice table. And when I'm sitting having coffee, I just use like a coffee table rather than a whole table. So I can sit here or just put my computer here and I don't have to pull it all the way up. This is my, um, I have four cameras around my van because I'm traveling alone and I'm a woman and I need to be safe and I really liked it because a couple of times I've been at uh, truck stops and heard bizarre noises and then I look and I go oh that's just some guy you know walking by he's not concerned with me so I, f I can go right back to sleep so I like that I have that so this is command center and these are the light switches they're dimmer switches these are all USB I have three of them for charging things um, and the rest of it is for the solar, for the Victron. This is, I have a Wabasco heater, so this is the dial to put it on. 
And yeah. this is for my plugs, which I didn't show you, which are very cool. So when I want to use house, house uh, 110, then I just do this. And I have, I have one on this side too. So my bed, it's from a place in Toronto called Fomite and it's made to measure. So I decided how much room I wanted the bed to take. It's not really as big as a double, but it's made to fit. So it's very, very, very comfortable. And I'm 5'8", and I can lie this way. If I want to stretch, I have to lie that way, but I can lie this way to sleep. So that's really neat. It's been wonderful. People are so nice to me. And, you know, people see me traveling by myself, so they come over immediately and kind of include me in things. And right now I'm traveling with friends from Toronto, and I'll probably be with them a few more days. And then I think I'm going to go, I don't know, I'll go somewhere else, meet up with some new people. You don't know what you're going to be doing in four or five days. Someone can say to you, well, I'm going to Joshua Tree, and you go, Joshua Tree. I'm going to go to Joshua Tree, and that can be what you do next. I love that part of it. Start. Don't dream. Just sort of one foot in front of the other. What I do notice about this world is that it isn't important how old you are. Like, you're perfectly acceptable. There's young people and older people, and they all seem to accept one another because age isn't the priority. It's that we're in a van life and we have that similarity. So it's, it's quite lovely. I love it. It's gorgeous and it's a real girly one, right? My van's really girly, but I, I'm really girly. So that's okay. <laughs> it's all yeah. right. And some of the really young ones say funny things to you, like they go, oh, it's such an inspiration that someone so old could be on the road. And then they go, oh. <laughs> 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 but I take it as a compliment. Yeah, that's great. Yeah.